Tony Burton was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. He had seven tumors, but now thanks to treatment at UofL Health, there's only one tumor left. When 46-year-old Tony Burton was diagnosed with cancer last August, it didn't look good. He told me I need to go ahead and get my things in a word that I possibly had four, six months to live. And I refuse to believe that. Burton's second doctor, Jason Chesney, at the Brown Cancer Center gave him hope, offering him an experimental treatment that's not yet approved by the FDA. This is a cell-based immunotherapy. Uh, we're the only site in the region, including the entire state of Kentucky uh, and Indiana, to uh, offer cell-based therapy like this. Uh, the therapy is called tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. He explains it's not a drug, it's a procedure, sort of like a bone marrow transplant. Doctors remove a portion of a tumor and teach existing cells to fight the tumor. They then place those cells back into the body. As of today, I have only one tumor left and it's very small and uh, dying off and I'm hoping on my next scan and it will be completely gone. Dr. Chesney says current immunotherapy treatments have dropped cancer deaths by 25%. He believes the advancements in cell technology like this could save another 25%. I have about 10 to 20 patients now who've gotten this one-time treatment after they had been told to go home and die and now they're living normal lifespans without having to receive any treatment. So I think when we talk about a game changer, this defines what a game changer is. Burton was the first lung cancer patient to be treated at UofL Health, and with his success, he likely won't be the last. Julie Dolan, WLKY News.